it's, it's also boosted by the fact that it is a regional tech hub. Now this year, that growth is expected to triple, or if not to increase among the Kenyan population, with many youths picking up the sport. Now on set with me this lovely afternoon, I have three players, some of them who will be participating, of course, all of them will be participating in the forthcoming E-League One qualifiers. Of course, the Nairobi region finals were over, and they all participated in that particular championship, and we're here to speak about that particular championship and also they are, how they anticipate to participate, how they look forward to participating in the national finals, which of course will be key with only one person or one winner going on to represent the country at this year's E League One Championship that's in Paris, France. I'm Bernardo Kumu, and of course I'm joined in, on set by three esports enthusiasts and as well as some players. And on my immediate right, I'll start with Josh Agu to or Jojo Dipe, and of course on a, my immediate left is Eric, not Eric Ngige, but Hari Tuku. Hari Tuku, Kappa. Hari Tuku Kappa is the nickname, and of course Eric Ngige Demon. Now, I'm too familiar with Demon as well as uh, Jojo Dipe, and of course Kappa, two uh, players that have really stuck their name in the game of esports. And let's begin with what's uh, on the table here, and that's about last weekend's uh, Nairobi Regional Finals, and of course Kappa did triumph in that particular one, beating Demon. Demon is the defending champion. He did represent the country in last year's event. So how about that? But let's begin with this general question. We've seen in my intro, I talked about the exponential growth of esports, right? And of course, this goes with the efforts that the office, you know, they're doing to put in place the regulatory framework or policies to make sure that the sport benefits. Not nobody else but you the player right so i'll begin with the deeper maybe your thoughts on how the efforts being done by the federations to make sure that the sport pays and also players uh, are taken care of the welfare of players are taken care of uh, properly yeah so i think most importantly is the tournaments mm -hmm. uh, uh, index g mm -hmm. through tournaments people come and play. It attracts many people when there are prize, pool, prize pools. A lot of money is put forth, like 100K, 50K. This really attracts players who have been training. Yeah, I think through that, a lot of players come throughout the country from Mombasa and Akuru. They come to play and earn some prizes. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes, indeed, yes. Uh, Kappa? Mm -hmm. What, what's your thought on how the things are falling in place in terms of managing the game? I know you're a player, but this is key too. <laughs> mm -hmm. Personally, me, I think that we should put more tournaments, yeah, uh -huh. as, Jojo, as Jojo said. Uh -huh. More tournaments may attract many other players to come and get the exposure that they need. Yeah, to get, get the exposure that they need. Mm. To you know, show up their skill and become better players. Yeah, yeah. Yes, uh, Demon, you've been around, you know, mm. and uh, maybe one of the players who just saw the federation when it was just a briefcase, you know, just two people, three people running it. But here we are, you know, as senior government officials attending the uh, your, yeah. uh, the championships. That means something, right? Yeah, it mm -hmm. means a lot. Mm -hmm. uh, especially the past maybe six months, mm -hmm. there have been more consistent tournaments. So you know every month there's, there's a tournament, so you train for it. Mm -hmm. And it really encourages gamers to, to take it as a, even a career, because mm -hmm. you earn some money that helps you in your daily livelihood, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes, and uh, again, we'll talk about your participation in, uh, last, um, in, in uh, last weekend's finals, Nairobi region finals, right? Mm -hmm. how, how, how would you, overall, how would you rate the, how it was, you know, the big turnout as well as uh, Kappa Flow, you know, being the new champion. How, how was it? Mm -hmm. Oh, it was a really nice experience. Uh, it had almost 300 players who attended the tournament, mm -hmm. you know, and not even counting for Mombasa and Nakuru, which had even other players. And so Nairobi was taking uh, four players from Nairobi, mm -hmm. and we managed to 
to qualify for the tournament, which is this Saturday. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, Kappa, it mm. was great for you to win, you know, after maybe how many years in the game and how important was this particular win? I know there's a bigger picture mm. coming on, on over the weekend, but just this particular mm. uh, performance, how would you say and how it boosts and improves you mentally ahead of the... The, the, the finals now, national finals. Mm, it, it, it actually <laughs> encourages me a lot because mm -hmm. uh, uh, many players registered for that Nairobi qualifiers mm -hmm. tournament. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I trained hard for that moment mm -hmm. uh, and I'm glad to be the best. Mm -hmm. Turn out to be the best and that will boost boost me mm -hmm. to participate even better in the grand final. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah Jojo, um, Jojo is here, uh, you know, and giggling. Jojo, you finished third. Did you expect to finish third? No, actually, the tournament, yeah. I just wanted to, yeah. to be among the top four. Mm -hmm. That was my, actually my goal. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but it was a tough tournament. Mm -hmm. A lot of people came. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I was, my Harry bet me, uh -huh. so I had to play playoffs. Uh -huh. Yeah, so it was a tough game. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. How, how, how would you rate Harry's game? You know, how, what kind of a player? I know you're all on this set, but what kind of a player? Yeah, he's, he's a tough player, uh -huh. zero mistakes, uh -huh. pressing, he, press a, he presses his opponents a lot, so I think once he presses you, you break. Yeah, he's, he's a tough player. Want to watch, yeah. Uh -huh. And I know, um, Demon, you'll be digging deep to your experience, no doubt, on, in, on, on Saturday during the final. Yeah, of course, because I'm the defending champion. Uh -huh. So I have the experience uh, of winning it last time. Mm -hmm. So I'll be putting it in my game, and also I'll be training even more harder because mm -hmm. it's tough to win back to back. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do you think that maybe uh, your participation has, in, I mean, in France, how crucial will it be, and maybe the quality of players that you've seen, Akina like Kappa and the rest, you know, who maybe they are not among the top four, but they're very good players. Uh, I would say in Kenya there is a lot of competition, mm -hmm. especially. I'll say the past mm -hmm. one year, everybody has improved. Mm -hmm. And every tournament, there's almost a new winner mm -hmm. nowadays. Mm -hmm. So the game is growing every day. Mm -hmm. And I believe the one who will win will compete in, the, in France, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, uh, Kappa, mm -hmm. are you already seeing the ticket kwa final? I'm aware of in the final, in how do you mm -hmm. see the final being? Actually, last year, mm -hmm. last year, they mm -hmm. um, beat, beat me on penalties and the semi-finals. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so this this year I have to come much stronger, mm -hmm. uh, more better, and actually, mm -hmm. I believe I can win it. Yes. Yeah. Well, I mean, I know, I know you, uh, you've been busy preparing for 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 the final, right? Mm -hmm. But what are you working on? What should work? Mm -hmm. What should work on, on, on during the final now? Now, yes. What should work? What are you? What kind of areas do you think you need to improve on? Yeah, and if you, yeah. I, I must be more defensively mm -hmm. and more patient, more calm, and uh, the rest mm -hmm. just do itself. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, Deepa, what, 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 what are the key areas that maybe you're working on right now? I think just holding the ball. Mm -hmm and not conceding in the last minute of the games. I've been conceding a lot of goals mm -hmm. in the last minute, 88 there, then I end up losing the game. I think that's the most important part I should work on. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, and uh, maybe uh, Demon will be looking at uh, the, the, you know, the growth of, of, of esports and, and looking at how the a number of championships have given Kenyan players a uh, platform to better themselves. Do you think there have been enough of them, let's say the ones that expose players to international levels of standards? Okay, the, I'll say, to be honest, there have not been many, mm -hmm. but they have been increasing uh, with the time. Mm -hmm. uh, last year, I think there were, I'll say, three or four international tournaments. And even Harry Kappa here had, had gone to Saudi Arabia mm -hmm. for an for e-football tournament. Mm -hmm. So I'll say then it's, it's a promising future and we'll see in what's will, what will be coming in the next few months. Yeah. Mm -hmm. A couple for you to pick up uh, e-sports, you know, a number of uh, championships uh, along the way. How would mm -hmm. you write it? How, how did you pick up? You know, how did you decide that now it's no longer for for just social, but now I'm getting in competitively. Uh, it, actu it actually started um, 
2021. Yeah, that's where I met my former manager and he started encouraging me, encouraging me to practice more that you can earn something out of this gaming. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, and that encouraged me a lot. I decided to go professional. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, now I'm winning tournaments, yeah. Yeah. When you began, did you feel discouraged at some point or encouraged, or how was it? Mm, I first actually days, felt, yes. I, mm -hmm. I felt discouraged because, like, first four tournaments, mm -hmm. it was a loss after loss after loss. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. But I had to, mm, I had to do better, be, be stronger, and yeah, outcome was. Now the outcome was becoming more effective, yeah. Uh -huh. Yes, and DP for you, or when did you uh, pick up the joystick? Uh, actually, uh, when I was young, I used to play PS mm -hmm. a lot, mm -hmm. from PS1. Mm -hmm. But I never knew there were tournaments, actually. Mm -hmm. uh, my big brother mm -hmm. was the one who was going, but I was still young. I, uh, I was not exposed to the tournaments. Mm -hmm. So I was just playing what's called foot mm -hmm. that time. So it reached, I started playing competitively, actually last year, 2023. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I've really grown fast. Yeah, from that 2023, I start. I didn't start well. People are there was a lot of banter. Mm -hmm. When you lose, you're being bantered. Mm -hmm. So Dis obvious, yeah. you will be discouraged not to play. Mm -hmm. So I, I used to play bees with the people. Mm -hmm. Like you play with them, then there was some money. Mm -hmm. I think that mostly made me grow faster. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I picked up really fast. Mm -hmm. Actually, in a, a, after three months, I started. Actually, I won my tuna, my first tournament after I think three months. Mm -hmm. Yeah, from starting competitive. Now, I've been going, going, going. Now, mm -hmm. I'm doing it professionally. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, and maybe the banter you can say that it did uh, hasten your, your your process of becoming better. Did quicken it. Maybe yeah, fast. very fast. Because once someone has bantered you, you feel bad. You FIFA has a lot of feelings actually. <laughs> <laughs> It has a lot of feelings. Once someone beats you, it's always sport, right? yeah, you have a lot of feelings. So, once somebody starts bantering, you feel why? Why can't I be better? Mm -hmm. So I decided just to put my head up and start working on it. Mm -hmm. yeah. And maybe is it just a Kenyan thing? Because now you see they banter because you lost, and when you win, they keep quiet. Yeah, you win. Actually, it's very funny when you win. <laughs> they're all on your side. <laughs> when you lose, you have been bantered by everyone. Yeah. In, it's, it's just like that. <laughs> and I think yeah, the industry is that way. Okay. Once you lose, you are always bantered. Yeah. When you win, you are everyone's favorite. Yeah. Yes. A demon for you, how, how did, did it begin? No, I would say it began in late 2019 when I started competing competitively. Mm -hmm. But before that, I was, when I was a kid, I was uh, playing in the laptop, maybe playing some Mortal Kombat, mm -hmm. FIFA, mm -hmm. yeah. but it was my big brother who exposed me to the, to the tournaments because when he was in university I saw him playing some friendly tournaments here with his friends. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so in 2020, that's when, 2019, late 2019 is when I went to my first tournament mm -hmm. and I managed to be top four and that's when I picked it up, I saw the talent and I went to buy a date here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm. And your participation in, in France, how big was it for you, like, career-wise? Well, it was a big moment for me as I showcased my skills in the international stage and also the diversity in <coughs> game plans by the, all the other players because every, every, every player is the best player in their country who goes to that, to that tournament. Mm -hmm. So you really learn from it and even make friends with them, yeah. Mm -hmm. Kappa, mm. well, what, are, what are you uh, trying to, to imagine, you know, as, as, as you move up the, you know, the, the international door is knocking, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. To me, uh, I picked last year, mm -hmm. 2023, mm -hmm. uh, I went even, I won even a tournament which I represented Kenya in Saudi Arabia, mm -hmm. it was only football. Mm -hmm. Yeah, to, that was a big moment for me. Mm, and help me know more people, learn a lot, mm -hmm. and that is, is really helping me mm -hmm. for the next stages that are coming. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes, and maybe uh, like um, just becoming a, a, a good player, what does it take? A lot of hard work. Yeah, training a lot, a lot. 
uh, training like with uh, these other competitive players, mm -hmm. learn from them, yeah, so they learn from you, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, and gaining the skills, mm -hmm. watching some international tournaments, yeah. Yeah, yeah. you can be better. The demon? Yeah. The yeah. qualities that make one, uh, you know, uh, you guys are, are better, that's why you're on this point. Yeah. Like this. Okay. okay, for, I'll say even, if you don't know, we are in the same team, a sports nice. team. Nice one. Uh -huh. So before even the qualifiers, we had trained. Mm -hmm. And I think that played a huge part for qualifying. Mm -hmm. And we always do that before a big tournament. Mm -hmm. We meet up, uh, improve the skills, train, uh, correct each other. Mm -hmm. And eventually you believe in yourself and you will qualify even in the tournament, yeah. Mm -hmm. And in uh, accessing the best technology, how? Uh, how, how does it that go for, for maybe players from in Kenya? Uh, technology, uh, pardon? Yeah, like when you want to access the best of um, the, 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 the latest, you know, the latest information in the oh, game. Oh, okay. Yes. Uh, the information is always there on YouTube. Mm -hmm. You see what the, the big pro players do mm -hmm. in the international tournaments. You just copy, mm -hmm. you see their tactics, and the, it's always there on YouTube. If you want to improve your skill, go on YouTube. Search mm -hmm. for the tactics, mm -hmm. uh, implement them in your game, mm -hmm. and you'll get better at the mm -hmm. game. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And maybe for I see most of the sports or places in the neighborhood is just for people who are out there to just have fun, you know. And maybe the business owner making my small money. I mean, what, what, what do you foresee as as players in the game? What what do you foresee? Okay, I would say uh, there's a lot of casual players who don't know they are like talent mm -hmm. who just go to the FIFA zones and play. Mm -hmm. They have not been exposed to the esports industry. Mm -hmm. So, so I'll say uh, the esports should be even be more exposed and educated to the young generation, mm -hmm. uh, especially right now with uh, low employment. Mm -hmm. I think it's a really good career path. It's, it's a lot of people love football. Mm -hmm. it's, yeah, well, I'll say that for for AFC 24, mm -hmm. so they should take it, take it their football, their football knowledge, mm -hmm. and come and play the game here. Mm -hmm. uh, we could add on that. I think the like accessing the technology. Mm -hmm. uh, actually, there are a lot of game gaming dance, mm -hmm. which have like a free game. It has computers, mm -hmm. PS, the the laptops. I think. Mm -hmm. There are games that are installed there, mm -hmm. but I think maybe some people don't have enough money. I think, but I think at some point, mm -hmm. uh, through what Dimon has said, going to the YouTube, mm -hmm. trying to, to improve your skills, mm -hmm. yeah. And sometimes I usually say, like, it's not normally the hard work, like the hard work itself. Mm -hmm. It's usually maybe the talent. You know, so maybe mm -hmm. you can you can be playing like 24 hours, but me, I'm playing five hours, but I'm better than you. Sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I usually think it's talent, mm -hmm. and if you, if you see you have that talent, you should use it, utilize it, as Demon has said, it's paying. Mm -hmm. We're in the same team, actually, MOM, mm -hmm. and it's paying. Mm -hmm. We are being paid, mm -hmm. and I think it's, it's a big breakthrough mm -hmm. for unemployment. Uh, yeah. Yes, yeah. and of course for all those who also want to innovate as well. Yeah. So it's a big employer, right? Anybody, anyone of you who is also into tech, Mm. <laughs> Kappa? Uh, no, I mean, looking at uh, expectations for you in the final, mm. I mean, the players from Mombasa, familiar faces, you know, mm. that you play with in the same club, and mm. as well as from Nakuru. How do you expect the competition to be? Mm. It's going to be tough. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's actually going to be tough because each single player you play against is. It's very competitive, very tough, so we have to be more creative, yeah, more creative, more patient, and uh, that's where it draws the line mm -hmm. and actually makes the difference to win it. Uh -huh. uh, Demon, your anticipation and expectation on uh, the final? Uh, uh, me, I'm believing in my skills and I believe I'll win. And all, it's always tough, the top eight, the finalist, because everyone has his own gameplay. Everyone has trained, everyone wants to go to France. Mm -hmm. So you, are, you always have to believe in yourself, make zero mistakes, and even be clinical and, and believe in yourself, I'll say, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, Jojo? Yeah. yeah. I think the tournament will be tough. 
having the opponents from actually Mombasa and Nakuru mm -hmm. coming to Nairobi, mm -hmm. meaning they are prepared for it. Mm -hmm. So I think the tournament will be so tough. But me, I believe in myself. You know, you can do it. But it really takes a lot for you to be better than an opponent, even that just one mistake can cost you. Mm -hmm. So I just think we should train more and just wait for the day and see what. Mm -hmm. And being, being in the same club, how has that helped you uh, show up your skill, like improve? Yeah. yeah. And this is the best, best, actually the best team in, in Kenya, actually, right now. It has helped me because the other players are competitive, Harry and Demo. Mm -hmm. I think they, they have some skills which I, di I didn't know mm -hmm. and it has really come through for me in improving my game and yeah, now I'm able to play like 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 the like like they are high high level mm -hmm. so yeah it has helped me mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah and Kappa maybe just being around um, a number of players you know mm -hmm. who have been doing well in the club and those who maybe are ready to share their knowledge and, and you know just share anything that mm. would make the other player better you know how how would you say has been instrumental in your in your in your game instrumental in my game mm -hmm. uh, players who are ready say. to share uh, yeah. surround yourself with beauty mm -hmm. yeah you surround yourself with better players eh? you're gonna be actually the next better player yeah, so I surround me, surrounding myself with players like Demon and some other players, eh? mm -hmm. the other better players, it actually actually helped me a lot and improving myself and becoming a better, a better, a better esports player. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And, and of course, it's not just only mm. for people who are out there. Maybe they, ch they thinking that it's only football. Mm. It's not only football, right? Yeah, yeah, it's uh, not only football. What else is on? Oh, yeah. Mm. What oh. else should people, should players be, uh, maybe upcoming players, those who are watching as well? How you know what else is there for them if, if you don't like football? If you feel like football is hard for you, uh -huh. there's other games like Valorant, shooting games, uh -huh. uh, NBA. Yeah. That games, that game also have international, uh, have international sports for. Uh -huh. They can try them, and maybe they can be the best at them. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the numbers that um, did turn up on on on, on, on um, during the Nairobi re, uh, fi finals, right? What, what kind of message do they send about the sport, Dimo? Uh, it's saying the sports is actually growing. It's sports and. Even the cabinet prime minister came there and it was an honor for him to come there. We met with him and it shows it's really growing and in the next few years it will be a, a certified career path for yeah, the younger generation. Mm -hmm. And yeah, we'll see in the next in the next few years. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And of course, as someone who's been around, that it how you say that it's looking promising like never before. Yeah, of course, it's always growing. I think it's one of the fastest, on top fastest growing industry in the world. Because mm -hmm. uh, it's easier to access because you just, if you have a console, you just play it. Mm -hmm. You have good internet, you play online with your friend who is like miles away. Mm -hmm. And you just improve your skills, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, Deepa, as yes. we wind up on, on um on, during the final, during the national finals, of course, that will be happening on, on Saturday, right? So, what if you come out on top? How crucial will this be to win? Yeah, it will be like, the best feeling mm -hmm. in my life to be so crucial. Mm -hmm. Going to France is not easy, mm -hmm. meaning you have beaten all the players actually, mm -hmm. halfway in the country, mm -hmm. from Mombasa, Nairobi, Kisumu. So, it will be a very important step in my life. Mm -hmm. I know if I go there, I mean, I will make my country proud. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that will be the best feeling. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes, and uh, Kappa, for you, you know, now you, mm -hmm. do you feel pressured? You mean you're Nairobi champion? Nairobi champions are always expected to go all the way, right? Mm. If to, to me, if I actually win, it would be a big moment for me because it will give me exposure on the international levels. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that I think would le help me a lot to become even a better player. Yeah, and a yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, Demon, defending champion, um, I mean, how badly do you want it again? 
I'll say the winning this tournament, <laughs> uh, winning this e League One tournament <laughs> really opens doors for you, yeah. especially <laughs> last year. Mm -hmm. It really opened doors for you. Uh, it exposes you. You get mm -hmm. even people know you more. Mm -hmm. uh, you go to even interviews, more interviews, mm -hmm. and even meeting up with the other players. Mm -hmm. uh, they know your name. You 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 showcase your skills in the not international level. Mm -hmm. Of course, I want it. I want to win it back to back, and yeah, and cement my greatness in the sports industry. Yes, indeed, yeah. and we wish you all the best as you uh, look forward to cementing your legacy as far as one of the best or finest esports players Kenya has ever seen. That's Demon Kappa and as well as Jojo Dipe. They've been speaking about uh, this Saturday's uh, final. That's the national finals, uh, E-League One national finals uh, with the winner going all the way to Paris to represent Kenya at the international championship that will be due in France. This is the touchline on Y254. We'll be back shortly. <laughs>